Welcome back everyone. With training camp only about a week away at this point, one thing that every team will be looking to figure out happens via their rotation, with that obviously including how they distribute their minutes. But for a team like the Lakers with a very deep group that might be difficult for them to figure out, it won't be due to a lack of talent or ability, but somebody will end up getting fewer minutes than they are likely hoping for. And although they don't have many big egos to manage on their team, they recently did pick up Christian Wood, who has started to gain a reputation for one. Not only that though, but there has been plenty of ongoing discussion about the Lakers frontcourt. Some believe that Christian Wood should be a part of their starting lineup, while others believe he should play a limited role for them off the bench. Now I think a majority of us fall somewhere in the middle of all that, but there are definitely those who fall on both ends of that spectrum. And with that in mind, we are going to talk about a logical solution for the Lakers frontcourt. I might talk about their backcourt in a later video, but today I want to focus on their frontcourt and with a big emphasis on their center position. I normally don't really like talking about a minute distribution, as I don't believe you can follow that same formula every game due to different matchups, but there is so much to talk about here that I think we need to cover it. Again, keep in mind that a minute distribution for one game might not work for a different one, but I think we can create a fairly accurate one based on how their team fits together, with much of that being my own opinion of course. But real quick before we get into it, if you are looking for non-Lakers related NBA content for me, then be sure to check out my second channel, JSM Plus. We really try our best to talk about every NBA team over there, and if you're a fan of more than simply the Lakers, then I guarantee you would enjoy it. There will be a link to check it out in the video description down below. But without wasting any more time here, let's dive right into it. And the first thing we need to talk about when creating a mid distribution is figuring out the team's starting frontcourt. And while you might think differently, I believe it should be with LeBron at power forward and then Anthony Davis at center. Now if you really wanted to, you could swap Vanderbilt and LeBron at the 3 and 4, but it really doesn't matter that much. The point here is that my starting frontcourt for them would include these two. And I believe it should be that way for a number of different reasons, many of which we've talked about in prior videos. But to briefly sum it up here, it allows LeBron to take on easier matchups on defense with Vanderbilt out there, and all around helps them to be more versatile with AD at the 5, which is pretty much a requirement for Darvin Ham's system. Getting into the actual minute distribution here though, I would really like to see LeBron play fewer minutes, and much of that will have to do with LeBron allowing it to happen. I mean, I get it, he obviously felt obligated to play more than not having great teams throughout the past two years now, or at least up until the trade deadline last season, but that's really not a problem for them anymore. Like I referred to during the intro, they have one of the deepest teams in the entire league, and barring them going through a number of injuries that don't include LeBron himself, that should allow him to play fewer minutes. However, it will ultimately come down to LeBron letting it happen. Darvin Ham has openly admitted to LeBron not letting himself come out of the game at times, and I imagine it's pretty hard to argue with a guy who's that committed. In reality though, LeBron is not helping himself here. He's now failed to reach the 60 game mark for 3 straight years now, and he's only appeared in over 75% of the team's games one time during his Lakers tenure. Now it obviously doesn't help that he's simply getting older, but playing fewer minutes likely would help. And I think it's time that LeBron plays closer to 30 minutes per game rather than 35 of them. In fact, I don't want him averaging anything more than 32 per game on the year, and even that might be a bit much. I think during a regular matchup he should be playing no more than 30 or 31 of them, with him only going over that if he's having a great night or they really need to win a certain matchup. But how about Anthony Davis, another guy who's dealt with injuries for them lately, they even sat him out during back to back games following the trade deadline last season. Although for the most part, I think they did play him for around the right amount of minutes when he was available. He averaged 34 minutes per game flat last season, which I would be fine with them giving him again. I think somewhere between 33 and 34 minutes per game would be perfect for him. It's not really an age thing with Anthony Davis, he's only 30 years old after all, it's really all about luck with him, though I don't think he got enough credit for playing in every single playoff game for them last season. And not only did he play in every single playoff game for them, but he already dominated on defense. Again, I really don't think they should do anything differently here, AD needs around 33-35 to 35 minutes per game to fully find his rhythm, and there's really a night and day difference with him out there compared to when he's not out there on defense. But now moving on to their bench unit, which again, I do believe Christian Wood should be a part of, and we'll begin by talking about the main distribution for Wood himself. 
Again, keep in mind that everything should be matchup dependent here, and especially for a guy like Christian Wood, but I think he'll end up averaging around 23 to 25 minutes per game, and I really think that would be a good number for him. I mean, anything more than that would likely cause problems on defense. They can't always surround him with an elite defender, and if Christian Wood is your last sign of defense without a great help defender around him, then you are really asking for it on defense. But when you factor in everything they brings on offense, along with them having three guys who can help him defensively in Anthony Davis, Jared Vanderbilt, and even Jackson Hayes to a certain degree, I think that they'll be able to have him out there for over 20 minutes per game on average. Now, he might be hoping for more than that, but he cannot afford to let that get to his head. I mean, he likely won't have a very long leash with the narrative surrounding him, which is why he ended up having to take a minimum level contract to begin with. And while I really don't think, or rather am hoping that it won't become a problem, I don't believe they should give him more minutes simply due to keeping him happy. That's not the way you build a winning rotation, and they do need to keep that in mind here. Other than Christian Wood though, we have Rui Hachimura and Jackson Hayes to talk about here as well, and I believe that Rui is in line for an increased workload. Now, I would not be entirely surprised if he cracked their starting lineup, though it really wouldn't matter that much from a minute standpoint. I believe he should, and likely will play around 28 minutes per game either way, with some games being over 30 of them, while others might be more around 25 per game. Much like a majority of other role players, he can tend to be a bit matchup dependent, although I think we can all agree that he can provide at least some value in every matchup. And with the great impression they left on them during the postseason, I believe they'll directly translate to a bigger role within their rotation, especially if they ever deal with an injury to LeBron or Anthony Davis. But now finishing up with Jackson Hayes, and while at one time he appeared to be in line for a 20 plus minute per game kind of role, all of that changed after they signed Christian Wood. However, I still do think he'll play in pretty much every game for them, it will just be in more of a limited role likely including him playing around 10-15 to 15 minutes per game on average, with his season average likely coming out to around 13 per game. And I for one think that would be a great way to start out for him, he'll have an opportunity to make an impact by purely bringing energy off their bench. And given that he's able to do that, I don't believe that he'll ever completely fall out of their rotation. And then on the other side of that, there could be room for his role to grow if problems ever arise with Christian Wood. Whether that be on defense, or problems that come off the court I'm not entirely sure, but it could potentially happen, and that would be his pathway for more playing time. I mean, who knows, maybe he'll even make a really good impression during training camp. We all know about the value that Darvin Ham puts on defense after all, and a guy like Jackson Hayes has plenty of it to offer when committed. With all of that being said though, what do you guys think? How do you feel about the minute distribution that I put together for their front court? Do you agree with it, or what might you change about it? Comment your thoughts down below. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to those of you who took the time to watch until the end of this video, and until the end of all of my videos in general. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.